step into the bar, said, Mac, I would like a drink and something to eat. I fancy some toast and jelly and roast and have all the other bed. Fresh butter from the churn and triple diamond too. And if you think you could draw some bitter from the wood, I'd be quite contented for to sip a pint or two. I'll sit down by your fireside and contemplate the infinite. The warmth of your hostile dream will seep into my heart. And if a regular should step into the bar, perhaps I might entice him to a contest with the Dutch. Sit down, said the landlord, I have frozen fish paste sandwiches. And frozen instant sausages, which I purchased by the time. And if you fancy it, we could defrost a bit and serve it up with ketchup on a supermarket bun. <laughs> How about a fizzy glass of quaint old English wet brew? That's that the tiny tom tiny by a famous rugby scrum. No fancy barrels here, we serve a hygienic beer that's safely paranoid inside an alum aluminium drum. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down by the fireside, I'll turn the logs on presently. How about a game of pool or else perhaps the fruit machine? Three cherries in a row, that'll set your heart aglow. And how about some heavy rock to really set the scene? <laughs> the stranger sat down inside the pipe of Star Wars Eagle Book. The plastic beams were swaying to an electronic sound. He took a bite or two, took a sip of ready brew, gave a gasp of turtle, and fell dead upon the ground. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, said the landlord as he turned his colored telly on. Another dreadful accident, the third this week, I fear. If they can't hold their own, why don't they just stay at home? I must say, we don't get some funny customers out here. <laughs>